how do you feel about, and you and your wife feel about, the fact that most black people are robbed, raping, murdering, and killing white people as opposed to white people doing it to the blacks? Is that racist for the blacks to be doing it to the whites? They had the knockout games. They uh, rape their women. They do all kind of stuff. Is that racist for the blacks to be doing that to the whites? Uh, yeah, th those are those, those violent crimes toward whites are done by black people. Is that racist? Th those people would be bad actors and racist. The same way the white people that killed my 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 wife's uh, brother. Those are those are two racist. Those are bad actors. But I wouldn't say all white people want to pick up some black person and throw them over a bridge and kill him. And so are you saying those blacks who are robbed, raping, and killing white people are racist? I would say those blacks that are doing that, just like the whites that are doing that, those, I wouldn't say that they're racist. I would say that those are, those are bad people that need to be locked up. So uh, I'm black and slow and I'm not getting it. It's all like you're saying those white people are racist, right? But you're not saying that the blacks who are doing the same thing, are, not, are they racist? I would say that, I would say that that the blacks that are doing the crimes that you just said to the whites to the whites are bad kids bad 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 actors that more than likely have a bad racial feelings towards white people are they racist again on a case by case basis i, I don't know by, I, I, on a macro level i would say if they're doing it just to whites i would say that they are racist let me let me phrase it that way they are doing it mostly to white people yeah. are I, they, are they yeah. racist uh, yes they are racist uh, um what is systemic you believe there's systemic racism yes and what is that exactly the way i can best describe systemic racism is is, is uh if you have a kid who's 10 years old today growing up in, in some bad neighborhood and his parents are maybe 22, 25, uh, I'm sorry, 30 years old, and they grew up in a bad neighborhood, and then their parents grew up in a bad neighborhood, and then their parents grew up in a bad neighborhood. They're only there because when, when um, they were technically freed as slaves, and mind you, I'm not a tremendous uh, scholar on, on, on history, so I may have, have right. dates and decades messed up, yeah. but for the most part, um, let me, let me actually say it this way. I have a 23-year-old production assistant who I just worked on a music video set, black girl from Texas and was out here. They saw the Cracker trailer. They were blown away. And that conversation led to, well, wow, yeah, you know what? We ain't been paid out yet. And, and that's the best way I can, I, can, I, can, I can sort of explain that. When she Is says, that systemic racism? When, when, she says, when she says we ain't been paid out yet, she's making reference to, uh, the Jews were taken care of after the Holocaust. Um, the Native Americans um, have been taken care of to some degree with uh, payouts from, from America. So America's taken care of every other culture that they've done wrong by uh, or uh, helped aid except for blacks. And we, we our ancestors, when some people say clan ancestors, when we went and brought slaves over here to work for us and help build this country, and they were eventually freed, they were never given their 40 acres So let me ask you this because of time. Are you saying that there's systemic racism because the black people want money for slavery? I mean, you're kind of jamming the two together. I'm saying that there's systemic racism because we've never, white people, white, America's never done their part to help black people get on solid footing after they were freed. By not giving them money? By not giving them opportunity, whether that's money or land or, or business. Uh, you know, we can talk about Juneteenth and Black Wall Street when they were thriving, when whites came and just slaughtered them. So if white people gave black people money, would they then shut up? I think uh, not just money, but I think... In, uh, they the want land? Uh, I'm not going to speak for each one. I'm just saying they need a fair shot the same way that w we've taken care of other uh, races. If those communities that you mentioned, if those black men and women got married, the parents were good examples for their children, raised them in a decent moral way, would they be begging for reparations or, b or blaming white people? Um, that's a big hypothetical. I would like to think that if they, were, if they had those opportunities, I don't think that it would be anywhere near as divided as it is right now. So they don't have the opportunity to get married and do it the right way? Very few blacks, by comparison to whites, have that opportunity. What is stopping them from getting married? Are white people stopping them from getting married? 
No, it's big. It goes, it's go back to your point where you said bad parents or they raise bad kids. So we have bad, we have bad parents, bad black parents, because bad black parents were, were, were born into, into systemic racism where they didn't have any, have any real opportunity. How are you born into systemic? What do you mean? So um, you've seen, you know, phrases like ghetto and the projects. If you're born in the ghetto and the projects, how much opportunity do you have versus the white kids born in the suburbs? Um, when I was growing up, I grew up on a plantation in Alabama under the Jim Crow laws. None of this mess that you see today was happening. We weren't blaming white people. Uh, black men and women got married. They worked. They was a good example for their children. They treated white people the same way they would like to be treated. White treated blacks the same way. They were not relying on the government. They were not crying racism or any of that stuff. And that was like right under Jim Crow, right after slavery and all that kind of stuff. Why didn't we see that then as opposed to now? They weren't having babies out of wetlock. It was an embarrassment. Uh, black people believed in God. They, were, they took care of themselves. The same way the Jews did when they came out. They took care of themselves. Mm -hmm. They stayed close with the family. Why is it that if, if blacks were doing that today, would they, still, would they be crying racism and wanting free stuff? Would they be blaming and acting like victims if they took control of their lives and lived in that way? That's a really good point and question. I don't have the depth of, of, of answering for decades of, of policies and politics that I wasn't a part of. But and, take and, a and, guess no, no, at and, it. And, and, if and, they live that way, the way I just explained, the way we live, yes. we didn't hate white people. Right. We loved America. It was a blessing to be born in America. Would they be whining and begging and, playing and burning down and destroying if they were decent people with decent families? Well, decent people, decent families, it, it, what, what you just said, that, those last two parts really come from being able to have them be devoid of being classified as bad parents. If they were born in two parents in the way I was, yeah. raised in decent ways, not to hate but to love, right. parents were and was a good example, would the blacks be blaming the acting like victims today? I would, I, would have to, I would have to conclude that if they were born, if they come from that situation, I would have to conclude that no, they would not be. But why not push that rather than pushing this idea of slavery and white people are to blame? Because Why not push the right thing instead of the wrong thing? Well, again, 2020, nothing else has worked. The conversation That will work, though. So let's, 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 let's have that play out. How, how, can you, how can you help make that happen? Well, I do it every day on my radio show, on my TV show. I write about it. No, no, I talk but, about listen, it. But the conversation... You know, helping the young men overcome No, that. and I, I applaud you. I applaud you 100% for wanting to make this world a better place and help people But why do not better. do it the right way instead of blaming white people? Because it's not true what's been said. And if you guys love black people, really love them, why not tell them the truth? You know that family work. You know that moral morality work. You know that treating people the way you like to be treated work. Why not teach that? So, again, teaching... And Why not talk about that? Teaching and talking is fantastic, but when it, come, when it comes right down to it, it takes money and policy to help people do but what they But why not use that same money you used to make what, uh, Cracker? Why not make a, a film that tells the truth about the situation? Well, first, of all, first of all, my film is truth. My film, is, it, my film well, lets people see racism in a way they've never seen it before. Do you know they, that they, I never saw that growing up? My parents didn't see it, my grandparents. It's all made up. It's not true. Maybe, you, maybe you've lived in, a, in this beautiful rose-colored world. All of my friends. But I'm telling you, what I've seen, I've seen blacks be treated negatively. I've, by I've, whom? I've, by white people. So you've seen black people being treated, have you seen black people treat ne white people negatively? Absolutely. And so uh, did you correct them? Whenever I can, I can. But, but, here, but here's the thing. Cracker on the heels of what we've seen with these cops that have been killing these black people. When was the last time you saw an article headline that says, unarmed white man killed by cops? Um, unarmed white man killed by cops? I don't know if I've ever seen that. So, but about, we've seen it but now. I have seen but we know, but, but, but hold on, you've answered that. But we've seen it now happen in uh, multiple weeks over the last several months. If black people were not fighting with the cops, if they were not criminals running away from cops. We saw on video they, George Floyd was not fighting with okay. the cops. George Floyd was sitting there. We don't know what George was a 
criminal as well. You do know that, right? Of course he was. But, but also, but, but, what, does the, what, what, does the, what does the Bible say about criminals? He pulled a gun to a pregnant woman's stomach. Understood. But, let me ask but the you Bible this. talks know, about sinners who, who, who go on to Let me ask them. you this. If black, these black people who have been killed by cops, and a last, apparently last year it was only nine or ten, but if they were not criminals running away from the cops, fighting with the cops, uh, taking their tasers and shooting at, at the cops, would they be dead? The cops need better training. Would they be dead? The t the, you're talking, when you say taser, you, you can't lump, you just can't ask Would one. they be dead? Because all those people you just named off, were, most of them were criminals and a Ahmad fighting, was jogging in a neighborhood. He got hunted down by two white men. One's a former cop. I'm asking you a question, him. though. Would they be dead if they followed the instruction of the cops rather than fighting with them and running from them and taking tasers and cursing them out and resisting arrest? Would they be dead today? Those cops were wrong in you the way they even the approached question. them. No, but but you, you would but they, be they were dead wrongfully today? Be, they were wrongfully they were wrongfully treated to begin with. These cops, those cops, those would they be those dead cops today? Were bad cops. Would they be dead today? Say, ask a question again. If those thugs that you mentioned had not been criminals in most cases, uh, running Ahmad away, wasn't a thug. Had are running away from the cops. Brianna wasn't fight, a thug. Fighting with the Brianna cops. Brianna got shot Hold in on. her home. Hold on. Doing nothing. <laughs> Cursing out the cops. Carrying on, would they be dead today? Wait, who cursed out the cops? These people that are dead. They yell at the cops. They call uh, them. Ahmad names. was pleading for You're his life asking and asking for to see his mother before he died, and she was already dead. I'm asking you a particular you know, question. No, but they, no, but they, none of the four people I just I'm mentioned you a were cursing question. at the cops. Would they be dead had they followed the instruction of the cops? They were following the instructions of the cops, and Brianna had no instruction. Brianna was shot were dead in the apartment. Were you there? Brianna, were you there? Were you there? No, Matthew, were you there? You keep bringing her up. Were you there? I was not there. So how do you know what you're saying is true? Well, I don't think that everything that we how learn on the news is a lie. How do you know what you're saying is true? Well, how do you know that? No, you're you not asking the question. You should ask the question. We're the question, man. So ask the question. I'm man. black and I'm slow. You got to help me. No, you ain't me. slow. You smart. Oh, uh -uh, I'm slow. And you, you, you like to like, pull these chess games in your, in your dialogue, try to get me in these corners. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, you do. It's no, okay. I no. understand. No, no, no. I'm asking you, if the people Ahmad had not Ahmad was shot, running, jogging down the road. He was shot dead by a former cop. I have no idea who Ahmad is. I really Ahmad don't Arbery care. in Florida. I really don't George care. Floyd <laughs> was, George Floyd, <laughs> I'm getting excited. Yeah, I know. If these people had followed the instruction of the cops. What instruction are you talking about? And not resisted arrest, would they be dead? I asked you that question, yes or no? You're, 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 you're. Assuming that I'm not assuming anything. Yes, you are. I'm asking you a simple question. They follow. They follow the instructions. From are you the a class. Christian? Yes, I am. You just not. You just told a, a, not a truth. Uh, well, what? How did I just lie? I'm asking you if they followed the instructions of the cops rather than fighting, resisting arrest, cursing them out. Would they be dead today? Nobody cursed them out. Who cursed them out? <laughs> you picking out one thing. I'm no, you but you're saying question. no. You're trying to paint put those it this four way. victims I mentioned Let's put it this as way. being had not they resisted arrest, would they be dead today? They didn't resist arrest. You're not honest. Ama so let's Ama move on because of time. Re resist arrest. Let's George move on because of time. Let's move on. You're not being honest.